happy Tuesday. Today we are talking about rain barrels and rain gardens. The first word of that is rain. So we got to think about what happens when it rains. So sometimes we know that rain falls down and it can hit surfaces kind of like these plants over here or it can hit hard surfaces. So rain can hit hard surfaces kind of like this driveway that I have here and I'm gonna do a little experiment of a hose here and I turned the water on so this is gonna be like our rain but we're gonna see what happens when I turn the hose on on this hard surface so what is happening it's soaking in oh there it goes it's starting to run off. We have a special term for these hard surfaces where water runs off the top. They're called impervious because it's impossible for water to soak down through it. And so some examples of impervious surfaces are places where there's pavement or concrete. So our sidewalks, our roads, parking lots, highways, all those different kinds of things. And then we also have roofs so roofs, water goes off of there, and it goes down into the gutter. Where does that water go that runs off those impervious surfaces? So a lot of that water that runs off of our impervious surfaces goes down a storm drain. And storm drains are those kind of metal things that you see along the edge of roads, and they have a big opening, and you can see water rushing into them. And so you might think, oh, well, that's good. It goes down the storm drain. It's not harming anything. But did you know that most of our storm drains go directly into our rivers, our streams, our lakes, and into the ocean? And none of that water is cleaned before it gets there. So anything that you see go down the storm drain, like garbage or maybe some soil and sediment, that all goes directly into our water, which affects our wildlife. There are even some types of pollution that we can't see that go down the storm drain. So we want to prevent surface runoff from happening and carrying all of this water and some pollution down our storm drain because when all of that water goes in that storm drain it can be too much runoff and that can also cause some erosion problems not only for our animals but it can also be an issue for people who live near rivers and lakes where the storm drains let all their water go and it's too much and it starts to erode near their house which can be kind of scary. One thing that we can do to help with this problem is we can install rain barrels and rain gardens. So this picture shows us a rain barrel. You can see that the gutters go from the house and into this blue barrel and that rain barrel stores all of the water that comes off of our roof. We can use that water for gardening, for drinking if we filter it, for watering pets. It's safe to use, but it doesn't go down the storm drain. This is another solution. This is called a rain garden. And so we have lots of pavement around an area, and then we see a little cutout so water can go into this garden. And in our garden, we have some very special soil. On this diagram, we can see that they dig really deep and put special soil in and that soil acts like a sponge so it soaks up lots and lots of water and prevents it from going down a storm drain. And then we also plant native plants in our main garden and these native plants have really deep roots and they can help filter out some pollution and soak up lots and lots of water and so they help us prevent water from going down our storm drain as well. Here we are back at my uncle's ranch. You can see I installed a rain barrel to collect the water that comes off of the roof into the gutters and it goes over there and they can use that for our vegetable garden up in the front. And then I also put in a rain garden down here and it's kind of by where the cows are in this big barn. And so that should help filter out some pollution before it gets into our river back here and soak up lots and lots of water that runs off from the roof of the barn and from some roads by the cows. Okay, thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. Tomorrow is Earth Day and we're gonna talk about riparian buffers. So 
be thinking to yourself, well, what does riparian mean and what is a buffer? Because we're going to talk about it tomorrow. See ya.